I can't even think of a day in anyone's life that I know that goes through one day and where their life is not deeply affected by mathematics. You get up, you look at the weather. Our ability to forecast weather is infinitely built on intricate mathematical models and intricate computational models. Math is used for traffic models and trying to create better traffic systems so people can get where they're going quickly. I use math to help clean up space debris. Cooking and baking. <laughs> I see math everywhere for troubleshooting the unknown. Every time you make a purchase, you're doing math. Buy something on the internet. The fact that you can, in a secure way, transmit that that information from your bank and stuff that's secure, that's deep mathematics to control that. Amazon wants to know where to put their warehouses so they can deliver things as quickly as possible. And that's an optimization problem. Everything, any kind of uh, technological equipment, your, your cell phone, they think, oh, it just magically works. But there's an underlying mathematics there that allows this. Trying to model the path of hurricanes, that is a very impactful application of math. Do not discredit the mathematicians. They are responsible for more good things on this planet than you know. So a surprising application of maths um, that I worked on was how to make smoothies very smooth. And in trying to do that, you apply a lot of different mathematical techniques to understand how things get chopped as the blades spin round and as they get chopped, how they move about the container and the different fluid dynamics and, and the different particle interactions to get your smoothie as smooth as possible. Math is used to optimize the dispatch in the power grid. I use math to evaluate federal programs. If you have a Tesla and it's moving and it's capturing all these images and feeding them to a computer so it can self-drive, that is math. The ability to send a movie when you stream it in a way that can come over the bandwidth that you have coming in your house, that is part and parcel of modern mathematics. I'm on this project with the steel making company. In that industry, they basically create a lot of carbon dioxide just to make some amount of steel. A lot of companies are trying to have a different sort of machinery to have, aiming for net zero emission. We're solving fundamental problems in math, but we're solving these problems that are really sort of crucial to so many different applications, to so many areas in industry, to so many sort of research areas in the natural sciences and in business. I hope the field of industrial and applied mathematics, I hope it keeps growing. This 21st century has shown us that this is going to be the century of the applied mathematician.